Good morning, YouTubians. It's Kermit's Ghost. It's lovely. Good morning, YouTubians. It's Kermit's Ghost. It's a bank holiday Monday again. Hope everybody had a great weekend. I met up with a few YouTubers over the weekend. There was Justin from Blue Justin. There was James from the Movie Bug Channel and the Power Couple from Bournemouth. Katie and Jamie Powell had a lovely time. Thanks for the invite. What is out today? Well, there's four titles I'm after. One is a Disney Pixar. The other one is, uh, or rather, another one is a bootleg that I'm going to replace with an official copy, and a couple of oldies as well. And I got some subscriber mail to show you. So, going to head up to the town now, grab a coffee from somewhere. Do you know the line? <laughs> and then I will show you what I picked up after I've shown you everything that's going to be released today. So, let's head on up into the main shopping centre. So here I am in McDonald's, top floor, Churchill Square, going to have that coffee first thing in the morning. There's Arabica beans, nothing quite like it. It's pretty quiet in McDonald's at the moment. Actually busier than it normally is on a Monday, but being a bank holiday, it got a lot busier than this. Within an hour, this place was absolutely heaving in every shop, in fact. So got what I needed to get, and then I started to head home just as it was getting busy. So going to head down in the lift right now. Well, I took my time with my coffee this morning and it's apparent because HMV have got their shutters up already. In fact, it's up before Zara. Let's go. Okay, so we're going to head over to the new and trending. There were no big advertisements for what's coming out this week. So we're just going to play it by ear, have a look at what's new and trending this week. So the new release today starts off with Jackass Forever. This is from Paramount Pictures from 2022. Just 96 minutes this one. Comes with an 18 certificate. Got Johnny Knoxville and Steve O back. $14.99 for the Blu-ray. DVD comes in at $9.99. There is no 4K for this, but the DVD and the Blu-ray both come with slip covers. Next, we have a Disney Bonavista release from 2022 called Turning Red. This is released on three formats today. Have the Blu-ray here with a slim case priced at $14.99. There's the DVD here at $9.99. Neither one of these comes with a slip cover, but there's also a 4K release which comes with a glossy slip and comes with a regular 14mm spine. Film itself is 100 minutes long and comes with a PG certificate and priced at $24.99. Next one to show you is the Blu-ray release of Tom Clancy's Without Remorse from Paramount Pictures. From 2021, 109 minutes, comes with a 15 certificate and priced at $14.99. Or you can go for the DVD priced at $9.99. It stars Michael B. Jordan, Jody Turner-Smith, Jamie Bell, Guy Pearce and Lara London. Next is the animated release of Constantine, The House of Mystery. It's from Warner Brothers, it's from 2022. It's a runtime of 76 minutes and it's yours for just 11 99 Comes with a 15 certificate. Next, there are two releases of season one of Wonder Egg Priority. The first season here is priced at $34.99. It's about a young girl who comes into possession of an egg which helps her to deal with her friend's suicide. That's priced at $34.99, or we have this limited edition set here, priced at £54.99. So in a similar vein to Wonder Egg Priority Season 1, Chucky also comes with several releases this week. We've got the regular edition here, priced at a mere $21.99. For a little bit more at $29.99, we've got the Good Guys edition. This comes with a lenticular slipcase acetate art cards, four regular art cards, and a 32-page booklet. So not a bad price, if I do say so myself. It's from Universal Studios from 2021. The first season comes in at 364 minutes, and it has an 18 certificate. Or well, you got the regular DVD here, priced at just $17.99. Next is the 4K and Blu-ray combo release of Smoking Aces. This is from Universal Studios. Made way back in 2006, it's 109 minutes and has an 18 certificate and priced at $19.99. Good film, this one. Next, we have yet another Star Wars release. This is the prequel trilogy Digipack. Has the Phantom Menace, Attack of the Clones and Revenge of the Sith from Disney Bonavista. These ran from $19.99 through to 2005. Three movies priced at $24.99. Also released is the original trilogy, Star Wars Digipack, A New Hope, The Empire Strikes Back and Return of the Jedi. These films ran from 1977 through to 1983, 381 minutes and priced similarly at $24.99. And alongside that, they also released the other Digipack containing The Force Awakens, The Last Jedi and The Rise of Skywalker. These ran from 2015 through to 2019. This is an expensive week for Star Wars fans. 
in case you're wondering what they would look like on your shelves but there you go looks like they've missed the german rating off one of them but there's the front and here is the back so they do line up pretty well on the shelves Next thing to show you is one of the Studio Canal Vintage Classics releases. The first one is Innocence in Paris is from 1953. 102 minute runtime, priced at $14.99, comes with a PG certificate and a great cast. The other Studio Canal release is The Wrong Arm of the Law, made it a decade later in 1963. 94 minute runtime this one and stars Peter Sellers, Lionel Jeffries and Bernard Cribbins. This too is priced at $14.99. Over in the horror section now with my J.J. Abrams effect going on there, we have an Acorn Media release of The Boy Behind the Door. It's from 2020, runtime of 88 minutes and has a 15 certificate and priced at a mere £14.99. Over in the documentary section now, we have a Dogworth release of The Sanctity of Space from 2021. This is not set out in space. In fact, it's set in the Alaskan mountain range. This one is priced at £14.99 and comes with a 12 certificate. Hey everybody, welcome back. There's some subscriber mail to show you in the box on the bottom and four new titles. I've already done the unboxing for this, which I filmed on Thursday. That will go on first and then I'll show you the new releases. So I'm going to crack on with it. Hey everybody, I'm filming this section on Thursday morning. It is 8.30 a.m. I've got some subscriber mail to show you. I've got my name covered here and the sender's name covered as well. I'm filming this on Thursday morning because I'm planning to actually meet this person at the weekend this would have already happened for you if you're watching this on monday so let's have a look inside so this subscriber mail is from justin i'm gonna put this down i'll put a picture of his channel up there so go and check him out and i'll tell you a little bit about him and his content he's a uk youtuber just like me he's been making videos for two years now he does regular weekly haul videos as well as the occasional unboxing of special editions if you're a fan of steelbooks then his channel is going to be for you if you like special editions or anime or just films in general head over to his channel he imports films from all over the world he goes into a lot of details about the products that he's bought and he'll pass on useful information that you need he answers all his comments as well. He's a great addition to the movie community. And on top of that, he is a genuinely nice person. He's currently on around about 170 plus subscribers. He definitely deserves a lot more than that. And on top of that, he's got a really catchy catchphrase as well. I won't say what it is. Pop over there and find out for yourselves. So inside we have Z Note. Now, before I attempt to read this, I'm seeing that it is in fact typed. I do have dyslexia some print can be a little bit tricky for me i'll put the note up here in the corner so you can read along with me i'll try my best with it okay here we go read along to alan kermit's ghost so far so good just a small package that i hope you will enjoy from the justin who's blue parcel one oh there's multiple parcels okay here's some tv you've shown interest in since i showed it and i enjoyed sort of warning if you want to go further you'll need to import though the imports are all region free, I believe. Fantastic. Then the final short season only exists on DVD. Okay. On the upside, the seasons I've sent do finalize the initial plot and the story can be ended there. If you ignore the last, we got money to do another season, better add a few scenes so people know section. Okay. Uh, Puzzle two, you either commented in one of your videos or one of mine that you've never seen a movie by this action star. Here are the uncut versions of a huge portion of his better ones before his star went on the wane and he ended up going straight to video DVD. I really hope you enjoy everything that I've sent and please don't reveal the next bit about the pool meet after we have met. I've only teased it on my channel and it's my first outside broadcast. Oh, I'm really looking forward to the meeting up at last. As am I. Thank you. And it's signed Justin. Well, you can see anyway. Appreciate that very, very much. Oh, I'm curious as to who I've said I've not seen a film of. Okay. I can only think of Chuck Norris off the top of my head, but let's crack on and see what he sent. So what has Justin sent? Well, there is a number one on top wrapped in a bubble wrap, which I will upcycle. And I will use further down the road. Inside is Blind Spot. Oh, gee, I was looking into getting this just a few weeks ago from Chichester. 
I got distracted and I forgot to go back and buy it. This looks like an awesome TV show. It's about a woman that's found in Times Square, New York. She's completely naked and inside a travel bag. She isn't dead, but she is covered in tattoos and amongst the tattoos are a name of an FBI agent called Kurt Weller. And the mystery begins. It stars Sullivan Stapleton as Kurt Weller. It also stars Jamie Alexander, who was Sif. She was Sif in the Thor, uh, the Thor franchise. I do have a figure of her over there behind the camera. It's got Rob Brown from Finding Forrester and a whole host of other actors as well. Each episode I know runs at 40 to 45 minutes because I was looking online not that long ago. And a show ran from 2015 to 2020, almost a, a season per year, I believe. That is absolutely bloody awesome. Thank you so much, Justin. Ah, wow, I'm definitely going to have to look into picking up the other seasons. And season two as well. Let's open these up and take a look and see what you get inside. Thank you so much, mate. I really do appreciate that. That's awesome. So inside season one, there's four discs. There are 23 episodes. It's got a runtime of 977 minutes. And my absolute favourite, there is a chapter listing inside of the well, episode guide inside. So that is absolutely brilliant i cannot wait to check this out thank you so much so inside season two there are four discs 22 episodes and a runtime of 943 minutes fantastic i cannot thank you enough so what is behind door number two it is the steven seagal box set now fortunately i do already own this one but i see it's sealed so what I'll do, I'll take it with me to Paul, I'll give it back to Justin. Hopefully, Justin, you've still got the receipt so you can get your money back or you can swap it out for something that you want. I really do appreciate it. The thought that you've gone into this parcel is really above and beyond. By the time you've seen this on Monday's video, this would have already happened. I've given this back to him already. Five films in this one, Under Siege, which I have actually seen. It was on TV as well, just a few nights ago as well. It's got uh, Tommy Lee Jones in it, Gary Boosie, as well as the girl from Baywatch. Erica Leniak, I think her name is, the one who pops out the cake. Very famous scene, very good scene. It's a great film, very cheesy, but very good. This has also got the sequels, as well as Above the Law, Hard to Kill, and Executive Decision. So thank you so much, Justin. Pop over to his channel, as I said. I've mentioned he's a very nice person. We could all do with people like him in our lives. Okay, so thank you so much. That was the subscriber mail. And I'll see Justin as well at the, on the weekend, as well as a couple of other YouTubers, as you probably already know by now. Anyway, so over to future me. So the first new title I'm going to show you today is Turning Red. It's an animated film from Disney Pixar, and it's a coming-of-age comedy featuring the voice talents of Rosalie Chang in her film debut. To be fair, she's only 16 years old. You've also got Sandra Oh giving a voiceover in this. She was in Grey's Anatomy, Killing Eve. And you've also got James Hong from Big Trouble, Little China, Blade Runner, Tango and Cash and many other films. You'd know who he is, he's a great character actor. Music's provided by Ludwig Göransson, the composer credited with Black Panther, Tenet, The Mandalorian TV show. Oh, and there's some Billie Eilish original songs included too. And the film itself is directed by Dome Shi, and like Rosalie, it's her film debut. She only directed short films before. She worked her way up from the creative team on Toy Story 4, Onward, Soul, and Luca. The film's got a runtime of 100 minutes. Let's open it up and take a look inside. So you may have noticed that this is one of those slimline cases Disney have been putting out lately. It's 11 mil across all the other Disney Pixar films and the classics are released in 14 mil cases. So this is not going to look right on the shelf. So I'm going to have to get a new cover printed for this with a thicker spine. And on top of dropping the 3D format, they have not put artwork on the disc. Won't be long before they just release them in a paper bag and say, get on with it. So that was Turning Red. Next title to show you is The Wrong Arm of the Law. It's a Studio Canal Vintage Classics range from 1963. A British comedy with a great cast. You've got Peter Sellers, Bernard Cribbins, Lionel Jeffries, John LeMessure, and a very young, uncredited role from Sir Michael Caine. God bless you, sir. Story is about two rival gangs, one headed by Sellers, the other one from Cribbins, and they have to join forces when a new gang who is uh, impersonating police officers to commit their crimes encroach on their patch. Now the two gangs even bring in a police inspector to help out. There's an uncredited role from uh, Dick Emery who popped up in a film I picked up last week called The Fast Lady. The film itself is directed by Cliff Owen who went on to direct Dick Emery in his own film Ooh You Are Awful which was his uh, catchphrase if you remember that. This film is quite short it was only 94 minutes long so let's open this one up and take a look inside. Slip in the case of the same. There's a pamphlet advertising Studio Canal's website 
and artwork on the disc. So that was The Wrong Arm of the Law. Next up is another Studio Canal Vintage Classics release. This one is from 1953 called An Innocence in Paris. Directed by Gordon Perry and starring the fantastic Alison Sims from incredible movies like Scrooge, which was made the year before this one, and Inspector Calls, The Green Man, and many, many others. There's also Margaret Rutherford in this. She is the embodiment of the make-do-and-get-on-with-it attitude. She's been working in films from 1936 through to 1967, and what an amazing career she's had. Passport to Pimlico, The Importance of Being Earnest. Murder, she said, Murder, Most Foul, Murder Ahoy, where she played the Miss Marple character, and many, many others as well. It's also an uncredited performance from Christopher Lee. Now, the story itself is set in England and France. It follows a, a group of people that fly out to France for a couple of days. It's a story of sort of human behaviour following all their different characters and how they navigate through the streets of Paris. And it's sort of it's one of those sort of many stories all interlocked. It's 102 minutes, so a little bit longer than The Wrong Arm of the Law. Let's open this one up and take a look inside. So it has a matching slip, that pamphlet again advertised in their website, and artwork on the disc showing the Eiffel Tower. So that was Innocence in Paris. So next and last is Without Remorse. I believe this was an Amazon Prime film which you could stream, which I have the bootleg copy of, and this will be destroyed. It stars Michael B. Jordan, who also produced this. He's been in such films such as Creed 1 and 2, Fantastic Four, where he played Johnny Storm. Black Panther and Space Jam A New Legacy. This also features Jamie Bell, little old Billy Elliot. He also starred in the Fantastic Four. He played Ben Grimm, I believe, aka The Thing. He's also been in Rocket Man, Jumper, King Kong, and many others. I really like his work. And then there is Guy Pearce, very good actor who started out in the Australian soap Neighbours. And he's gone on to be in some of the biggest blockbuster movies and TV shows as well. The film itself is a thriller. It's a double-crossing CIA, Russian, FSB, counterintelligence, revenge movie. It's one of those where you can sniff out who's untrustworthy and the end comes without any surprise. But it does have its moments. It's got a runtime on this of just 109 minutes. Let's take a look inside. Well, it does say on the cover is Tom Clancy's Without Remorse, but apparently it's got very little to do with the book. And there is no artwork on the disc. So that was Tom Clancy's Without Remorse. So that was it. Have you seen any of those films or plan to pick them up or just have something to say? Then drop a comment down below and I will read every single one of them and try to get back to you if I have the time. Give the video a thumbs up. It really does help the channel. And subscribe if you haven't. It's all free. Why wouldn't you? And on that note, all that's left to say is thank you so much for choosing my channel today and watching my video. Take care and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.